what's the ideal foot placement for you based on your abilities, your posture, your goals and priorities. Now, one tool that comes from Dr. Stuart McGill is to hop up and down and see what foot placement you naturally assume. The assumption here is that people will naturally gravitate towards the most anatomically advantageous position when they hop up and down. Otherwise, there's a number of different things to consider. We could consider having a very narrow stance on the squat. So a very narrow stance is going to bias a little bit more of the thighs and it puts a little bit more emphasis on spinal extension, just keeping the torso upright and working all those muscles. You could go with a mid stance with the feet just about slightly wider than shoulder width apart. Or if you go with a wide stance, you put more emphasis on the hips and it's a little bit easier to keep the torso upright. A wide stance may also work a little bit more of the groin if that's a training priority for you.